Well, hello everyone. Today, I want you to pretend that you work for a king. And the king will be arriving soon and it's your job to get everything ready. What would you imagine that you would do? Well, let me check my to-do list. First, I would probably get his crown ready and his royal robe. Then I might get his gold or jewels or other fancy things out for his arrival. Next, I would want to get a welcoming party ready for him. So I would gather all the most important people I could find and have them waiting for him. I would also want to have an impressive ride ready for him. Maybe a fancy car or a beautiful steed. Then I would roll out the red carpet for him. And maybe even shoot off some fireworks to celebrate. That's what I imagine would be fit for a king and on my to-do list. And in our scripture passage for today, for Palm Sunday, that's kind of what's happening. We are recognizing Jesus as king and remembering when the crowds welcomed him into Jerusalem. But the things we see on Palm Sunday... They look nothing like what I imagined on my to-do list for welcoming a king. Because Jesus isn't like what we normally imagine when we think of kings. In fact, the Bible uses the word humble to describe Jesus entering the city. So rather than wearing robes or a crown, Jesus had simple, ordinary clothes and certainly no gold or jewels. Rather than being greeted by the most important people, it was the regular, ordinary people that met him. And his ride was nothing more than a donkey. And this crowd didn't have a red carpet or fireworks. Instead, they just used what they could find. Palm branches from the trees near them, the coats on their back. In fact, as you look through this checklist, you might not even recognize that you're getting ready for Jesus as a king. But that's the point. Today, as we proclaim Jesus as King, as we shout Hosanna and wave palm branches, we need to recognize the kind of King Jesus is. The King of Kings is humble and self-sacrificing. So if our focus is on power, wealth, and ourselves, then we'll have a hard time recognizing our King who doesn't look anything like that, and we won't be ready for him. We'll have the wrong checklist. So as we wave these humble palm branches, let us remember that this is the kind of king that Jesus is. And it's the same thing that he asks of us who serve him and recognize him as king. And I hope that helps you understand our scripture passage just a little bit better. Goodbye, everyone.